You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV iPad App Reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well this week we're going to take a look at an awesome app. It's called Cordoco and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But what this allows you to do is take a look at all of the EXIF information, all the details about your photos as well as the GPS information and see them on a map. And then you can also update that location information and then share that with others by sending it through email and other places. So let's take a closer look at Cordoco. All right, let's dive right into Cordoco. Now when I open this up, I get a map of the whole United States and up pops a, an image. And this happens to be the last image in my photo library. So let me show you how all this stuff works. So when I click down here in the lower left hand corner, I get my camera roll. Now we can go to um, not just the camera roll, but all the other albums that we have. Um, like our photo stream, etc. And you can just do that by going to your albums and then you can go to your photo stream or your camera roll. Or if you have other albums there, you can just jump right into that. You also have events and you have faces if you happen to have those saved on your iPad, which I don't have on this iPad. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into the camera roll and you can see some of these actually have coordinates and some don't. And so, for example, here's a shot of me hanging out with Zach Arias and you can see this was shot in New York City. Of course, we were at Photo Plus Expo hanging out, and so you can see exactly where that was taken. It's pretty cool. Now, if I want to know all the information about this picture, I can click this little button there, and look at that. Here's all the detail for this image. Now, this image was shot with an iPhone 4S, and I know that because here it is, model iPhone 4S. And it has all the resolution infor information, it has all the GPS information, so it shows longitude, latitude, the timestamp, all that kind of stuff. Um, in addition to that, you've got your shutter speeds and your white balance and all the stuff that EXIF has, which is okay for uh, an iPhone photo, but I want something that's a little bit more meaningful. So I'm going to go in here and take a look at this photo right here. And you can see that this photo was shot here in our studio in Phoenix, Arizona. So if I zoom out on the map, you can see there it is, West Coast Phoenix. That's where that was shot. And I can look in here. And there's all my information. So I can look at this and see exactly the exposure time was 60th of a second at f2.8 and the metering mode was pattern metering and I was shooting at f2.8 and there's all the different things. Here's the focal length, the color space, the ISO rating, rating the um, exposure mode. Everything is in there. Uh, the, we shot this with the 5D Mark II. So all that information is in there. And this works with any photo that has EXIF data. As long as it has EXIF data, that's going to show up. Now, the other thing that's really nice about this is here is the address where we shot that. Well, look what happens if I open up another shot. And this photo was taken at the exact same time. And there's a problem with it. It says NA. In other words, it doesn't know where it was shot because a Canon 5D Mark II doesn't have any kind of GPS awareness. It doesn't have any location awareness. I do have all of my uh, EXIF data in there that I can look at. But I want to say where this photo was taken and add some of that to the EXIF data. Well, I can do that with this app. So what I'll do here is I'm going to zoom in to Arizona. And I'll just take this uh, icon right here. I'll just hold it. And now I'm going to just hold it over Phoenix. When I let go, it picks the closest thing. Now I can actually zoom in here and get a little bit closer to where it was actually taken. I know it was taken over here, so I can take this now I can drag it over and I can get this really close and eventually doing this I can get exactly where it was. Now this isn't the right address so um, I'm just getting it sort of close. Now I wish this had the ability for me to just uh, double click on there and type in an address but it doesn't. But let's say that is the right address and again I could hold this and drag it to the exact right place. I just don't have time to do that right now. But if I wanted to I can do some other things. So I can click on that button now now that address, even though it's not right, is stored. But up here, I've got this little button right here. And I can click it. Now I can reset the location. When I do that, it wipes out that address. So maybe I got it wrong. I can mail this with metadata. I can save just the metadata. I can save the image with no metadata. Or the other thing I can do is I can click Map. When I hit Map, it zooms in and it shows me a pen of where that photo was taken. So maybe I need to figure out how to get somewhere or get directions or something and I can do that based on that photo. And so the map in your iPad and the app are totally integrated. So let me zip back over here to Cordoco. And so we've got all that stuff. So let me just show you really quickly if I want to 
I can go in here and say reset location and bam, it goes away. Now there's one other thing I can do here, and that is if I want to, so there's this image right there, I can actually play a slideshow. And so this is pretty cool. I can click this right here, and uh, it's not in here, sorry about that. Um, there's a guy right down here, this little widget right there, and I can say slideshow. When I hit that, if I start the slideshow, it'll start showing me on the map different images. And so there's one, the next one that's gonna come up is the shot of Kelsey. And this is gonna go for a few seconds. And then bam, there it is. It doesn't have any location awareness, so it just comes up at the exact same place. And then of course, a few seconds later, here comes another shot. And there, here I am with Joel. And you can sort of see how this goes around on the map and shows you different locations along with photos. And it's pretty cool. Well, that's Cordoco, an awesome app that lets you look at GPS and EXIF data. I really, really like it. Well, if you have an awesome app that you would like me to take a look at, please send your suggestion to me at askmark at adorama.com, and I might just use your suggestion on an upcoming episode. And don't forget, if you want to see all of the iPad apps that we've reviewed in the past, just take a look over there at the Adorama Learning Center. We've got all kinds of iPad apps. In addition, we have all kinds of photography tutorials and articles and reviews and all kinds of great stuff, so don't miss it. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.